use his word. Because somebody might jump up and say, well, uh, in Revelation 13, that's from the Greek. And what these brothers are reading at it is from the, the Hebrew in um, Ezekiel 9 and 4. But they could have easily put that word in there. It was actually talking about a mark that's implanted into your hand. So this is the uh, Hebrew equivalent to the Greek word uh, karagma. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Leviticus 19 and 28 says, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So we're focusing on this word mark here. And in the Hebrew, the word there is kwai kwai, which means incision, imprintment, tattoo, mark. Now, I got to say this again. This is something totally different from Ezekiel 9 and 4, which uh, uh, Nate used to justify his madness, you know. And down here it says, uh, stigma, uh, stigma, a mark branded on the skin, Leviticus 19 and 28. Now, now I'm, I'm glad you read down and read that word for stigma. It also means stigma. And we're going to find out what the word stigma means. Okay, the, the Hebrew word for that is what? Kwai kwai? I kwai kwai is equivalent to the Greek word karagma. All right? So that so kwai kwai has nothing to do with uh, Ezekiel the ninth chapter and the fourth verse. That's why the word kwai kwai is not in there. All right? Now read that. Right. This is um, uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now... If you break that down in the Hebrew, because Hebrew has a numeric value, that adds up to 600, three score and six. All right? Now, I'm going to read something from this book. All right? It says here, it says, this is the 18th verse of Revelation 13. Revelation 13, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding, understanding. All right? Count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man, and his, and his number is 603 score and 6, right? Now, it says here, the number that seals. What does it mean? What does it all mean? Do you know that 666 is actually a Greek word? See strong concordance 5516. Now, if you go, go up and just put in uh, H5, I'm sorry, G5516, it should, it should tell, take you to the, you know, on the, on the, on the, um, the Strong's, because that acts as a Strong's. Put H, put H5516, I'm going to see what comes up. G, I'm sorry, G, G5516. See, see what comes up. What came up? Okay, it went right to it. That's the strong definition. Yeah. Now, what's the what's the word? Let so be stigmata. Strong G fifty five sixteen chai. Xi stigma. Chi Xi stigma. Which adds up to six hundred three score and six or six hundred and sixty six. Now let me let me finish reading. It said, What does it all mean? Do you know that six 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 is actually a Greek word? See strong concordance. And we also have a strong concordance book that we can go into right now. But this is easier because it's right on the computer. So if you don't uh, believe in, in the blue letter, just grab any strong concordance and read it for yourself. All right? It says, uh, it says C strong concordance number, it should be uh, G for Greek 5516. Chai, Sai, Stigma. All right? There was a movie that came out a couple of years back called Stigmata. And it was all about when the Lord was had the uh the uh, um the nails put in his uh in his uh in his hands and in his feet 
And then this woman got those signs, so the priest said, uh, oh, that's a stigmata that goes back to Christ. Well, the word stigmata is, is to uh, put it in you and plant it in you, stick it in you. It says, uh, chai sai stigma used as numbers denoting 660 and 6. Stigmata, right? Or stigma, I'm sorry, stigma. Stick or prick. A mark punched or inc incised for recognition of ownership. Strong's G4742. Go to Strong's G4742 or G4742. Let's see what that says. Yeah, the G is for Greek. And I want you to read that, and I want you to let the devil pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, let's let the devil pronounce it. Strong's G, 4742, stigma. Stigma. Which means a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. To ancient Oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked, cut into their bodies <laughs> to indicate what master or general they belonged to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. Now, remember I read about um, this guy... Uh, Aaron Russo and Nick Rockefeller. Now, what did Nick Rockefeller tell Aaron Russo? He, they want everybody chipped. Why? Because they're the master. All right? Um, I got a definition from dictionary.com. I looked up the word stigmata. And down here, it pretty much says the same thing. Yeah, it says, um, it says a mark made by a branding iron on the skin of a criminal or slave. And it's from the Greek stigma, tattoo, mark. Um, yeah, pretty much tattoo and mark. All right, go ahead. And this is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 12. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet. This is basically talking about the downfall of, of America known as Babylon. Babylon the Great. Go ahead. And all the iron wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beast, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. And slaves, and souls of men. So what, what are they planning on doing? They plan on sticking everybody. But the ones that don't want to be stuck, that don't want to receive that chip, that's why they have the concentration camps, and the gu the, the guillotines, and um, and 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 to put you in to put you to death. All right, go ahead. Uh, Re Revelation chapter twelve verse ten. And I heard, I heard a, a loud voice saying in heaven. Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before the, our power day and night. And they overcame him by the...